Welcome to the Beer EDU podcast, the podcast for educators that love to learn and share ideas with fellow educators over beers, with your hosts, Kyle Anderson and Ben Dixon. Hey, Ben, how are you? Great. Kyle, how's it going? Good. Looking forward to uh, having a beer and uh, getting this Beer EDU podcast going with you. Yeah, for sure. Right on. So I guess we should start by introducing ourselves. So, Kyle... So Why don't you introduce yourself. My name is Kyle Anderson. I'm a 13-year veteran of education, mostly high school social studies. Dabbled a little bit last couple of years in some different things. I was a tech coach for a short time. Did some administrative work for a short time. Realized that it was too time-consuming with my young family. Yeah. So did um, PE for the last year, Whoa. and then now I'm going to be moving from Southern Nevada. Yeah. To Northern Nevada, and I'm going to right be, on. I'm going to be doing special ed at Carson High School out in Carson City. Yeah, but I, a lot of other stuff I do. I'm very much involved in Q of Nevada. I'm involved with an organization called Team RWB that helps out uh, veterans. And then, like I said, I got a young family. I got a six year old, a three year old, my yeah. wife Mary, and um, busy, full plate. But I like being busy. Right, right on. How yeah. are you? I so. Ben Dixon, uh, I have lived here in Reno my entire life, so um, this is my going to be my 21st year uh, in Washoe County as an educator. I started out actually as a custodian, taught kindergarten, um, taught all the way through elementary K-6. Um, I've been an instructional coach, a dean, um, and now I currently am the assistant principal Alice Maxwell Elementary, where your kids are going to be going to school. I'm super yes, excited about that. I'm looking forward to that. Um, so that's kind of what I, that's my my educational background. And then I also dabble a little bit with uh, a uh, social media group, Teach NVAX, and uh, doing a Twitter chat, uh, Teach NV chat. Um, I've done some work with Q. That's where we met. And, and that's kind of that's kind of me, but I'm, I'm super excited about this. This is like a new thing um, that you and I have, have, have talked about, um, and I'm, I'm really excited about this. Yeah, we met a few years ago, and uh, we talked, geez, yeah. right, almost right away about doing something like this, right. doing a podcast sorts, and nothing ever really took off with nope. it, and then a couple months ago, an idea sprung in my head, and I, I texted you real quick and said, what do you think of this idea of a podcast that involves drinking beer and talking about education and literally within seconds your exact response was that is an awesome idea so yeah i mean basically it's it's every uh it's every um friday night usually in 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 education where everybody at the end of the day goes goes out to a bar and and says okay here's the thing we're we're not going to talk about work and what happens we always talk about work exactly it, it always happens so so the whole idea is why don't we take two of our favorite things, yep. education and beer, yes. and bring them together so it can be that conversation in the bar on a Friday afternoon right. in the form of a podcast. Exactly. That I think that, and I think when you told me that, I said, that's an awesome idea. Why have we not thought of this before? Yeah, I am a little surprised considering our love for both of these things that we didn't think of this sooner. No. So... No. But here we are. So, so we're looking forward to this, um, and, and really kind of, kind of moving forward with, with getting, um, maybe getting, getting some guests. I think that's the part I'm excited about. Trying to find some people. Yeah, you, you and I both are. I think we're both very knowledgeable and have a lot of great ideas. Yeah. But um, there are so many people out there doing so many great things. They need to share their stories and ideas as well. I think. Oh, so to totally. And there's so many great beers that we haven't tried. Yes, yes. That, I mean, part of the name of this podcast is the Beer EDU Podcast, so that, that is half of the focus here. So For sure. If you're not a beer drinker, that's okay. Oh, What's yeah. your favorite adult beverage? If you don't do adult no. beverages, what liquid do you like to put yep. in your face? Whether we, it be coffee? Tea, could be soda, who knows? Maybe, could be maybe fancy your, water. Fancy water, like that. Um, What's that one of? Fiji, Fiji water. Fiji yep. water. That's a that's a there pretty common go. one there. Yep. Or I'm partial to smart water sometimes myself. There so. we go. We could, we could have a whole discussion about water that makes you smart. Yes. So, yeah. So, I mean, that's really what we're going to be it. about here. It's going to be a lot of talk about great things going on in education. 
some things that maybe yeah. need to change about education, mm-hmm. all while having a beer. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, we are yep. enjoying a beer right now. And uh, Ben, I see you've got something. Or what are you drinking right. tonight? So, uh, so my choice. This is uh, always a go-to for me. Um, is anything from Sierra Nevada? Um, you know, the guys down at. Um, over in Chico, it's only two hours away. They always do great beer. And so this particular one, I had not had this before. It is the BFD, the beer for drinking. So um, it's a, what they call a hoppy blonde ale. So it's it's got some hops. It's got, I have no idea what the IBUs are or any of that. And you know what, in, in a future podcast, we will explain all what those things mean. Yeah, you're gonna hear us say things like IBU, ABV, and there's mm-hmm. gonna be some different beer slang and terminology. Yep. And you're gonna hear it and you may not know, and we're gonna do our best to try to explain what some of those things are. So IBU stands for International Bitterness Units. Yep. It measures the bitterness of the hops. The right. higher the number, the hoppier the beer is going to be. So we're going to yep. definitely talk about that a little bit more. But so, so yeah, this one and exactly that. This one, it's it's kind of hoppy. It's not like a t- traditional IPA. It's it's a good summer beer. Beer, you know, it's a blonde, so it's a little bit lighter. It's easy drinking. Um, I, it's a really good one. I, I'm shocked that I have never had this one. And how about you? What do you got? I am um, also going with uh, one of the Sierra Nevada beers tonight. I'm going with the traditional pale ale. Just the beer that really put that brewery on the yep. map. And um, it's one of those beers that it's hoppy, but it's light at the same mm-hmm. time. It's not super heavy. If I'm in the store looking to buy a six pack and I can't decide on something, yep. this is usually what I go with because you can never go wrong with the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. And then uh, in the can, you can, they, you can oh, take yeah. them anywhere. So put them on, take them hiking. Um, I've been known to take them <laughs> to the ski resort before. I've been known to stick them in the back of my jersey pocket on my mountain bike ride. So I'm so, just saying. Yep. So it's a go to. So uh, if you got cans of beer, they can go pretty much anywhere. Yep. So, but um. Yeah. Right on. So yeah, Sierra Nevada. I, I think we would both agree. It's it's a good go to solid. Uh, I, I mean, I guess they're still a craft brewery. They're still one of the small ones. I guess I would call them one of the the, the biggest of the small ones. Yeah. Now. Them in uh, Boston beer. There we go. Yep. Adams. Yeah. Definitely. But um. Yeah, this is going to be a good time here, and um, you know, it's talking about all this beer and where it's at. We're really going to try to focus on the northern Nevada breweries yep. and southern. There's some great yeah, ones in southern there Nevada are. too. So Nevada beer, period. So right. um, I can't wait to show you. I've got some glassware. It's uh, the state of Nevada, and it says "Drink beer from here." Oh, cool. In the form of Nevada. Right. I'll have to, all right. If I see one, I'll buy you one. Right so. on. Um, but then, but northern California because we're so close. Yep. So much great beer there too. There's. A great chance we're going to be doing some live recording there we go. field trip kind of deals. Uh, that's true. There's so. just over the hill. And then, you know, not only that, I mean, like we're, we're going to talk about beer, but there's also uh, some great breweries here. Um, there's also some good distilleries here. I'm just saying, like, I do love a good whiskey, so maybe we'll talk about whiskey at some point. Yeah, I'm looking forward to those conversations. <laughs> beer, whiskey, whatever it may be. And I, some education stuff. And of education. Course. We'll so. talk about that. So... We're hoping this episode you're listening to right now, we're hoping to start dropping our actual episodes yep. sometime like around the 1st of August. That's yep. when I'm going to be moved in to my new place here in northern Nevada, and Ben and I will be able to carve out some time to get some episodes recorded at that point. And then yep. we're hoping, how often, Ben? Yeah, I, I think maybe like two, two to three weeks probably, depending... You know, depending, uh, one of the things I think, Kyle, you and I talked about is getting good guests. And if, mm-hmm. we, if we find like two or three guests that have a great theme, maybe they'll be sooner. Um, but I, I, I think semi-regularly, two to three weeks, we're not talking, this is not going to be an hour and a half long podcast. This is not. No, we're looking between 20 to 30 yep. minutes, something that yep. I know a lot of people have that commute. I yep. know my commute's going to be about a half an hour. Yeah. So not that I'm probably going to listen to our podcast on my commute, <laughs> but you know. Well, that, but that is the thing. Like, I know I love podcasts, but I know if it gets past, if it's an hour, then I feel like I never, I never get to hear the rest of it because I get in my car and then yeah, I, I get out of my get, car and I miss it. You get that break up. Yeah. So, and so we'll have to talk a little bit about yeah. saving those good parts using the Pocket Cast app. There so we go. That's something we'll have to talk about in an episode here. So, that's why so yeah, start looking for us here in August. And then in the meantime, you can follow us on social media. Yep. We have a Twitter feed at BeerEDUPod. Yep. And then you can also follow the hashtag Beer EDU Pod. Yep. Um, coming soon, we're going to have a Facebook, Instagram. Yep. 
we'll have all that stuff. I mean, really, really, but mostly, mostly it'll be on Twitter. But we'll have all that, all the, as all the kids are using, all that hip social media stuff. Yes. And maybe, maybe in the future, we're just we're thinking about it. We might have a YouTube channel, and maybe we will video record this. Who knows? If we get that sponsor from one of the breweries there, where we can uh, live we record at those, we'll definitely do the YouTube yep. channel. So yeah, any anybody connected with a brewery out there or a a fine uh, drinking establishment, we are always looking for uh, for a uh, for a host or a a sponsor. Indeed, and then because I'll be new to the area, any new place that I can find will be there. We go. Very nice. So right on. So I think that about wraps it up. Um, thanks yeah. for listening, Ben. Can't wait to get this journey going here very soon. Yeah, for sure. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be awesome, man. All right. So until next time, may the malts and the hops be with you. Right on.